What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we're reacting to another... Dave Allen. I see what you're doing this whole time. Breathing? I'm sorry. I'll try to control that. Uh -huh. And we're reacting <laughs> to his clip on holidays and holiday resorts. <laughs> holidays. I can't wait for this. Vaca Why is it about vacations that we get so excited? Especially if you have kids. For the vacation... And the majority of the vacation is like, stop that, stop arguing, stop touching stuff. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. The judger has become the judgee. <laughs> I was just kidding, you taste your own medicine. But you're right. Vacations are so, so nice. But yes, there's always the children fighting, or in our case, the child who wears their glasses and the ocean and loses them. Wow, threw him under the bus. So, we're going to go and check out some Dave Allen's. It's been a little bit too long since the last time. If you like my reaction to this anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload of videos. All righty, tidy. Since this is your reaction, I'm going to go head out, get myself some dessert. Catch okay. you on the flip uh, side. Bring me one. Here she goes. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good evening. Uh, we are fast approaching a period of the year when the holiday brochures will be dropping into your house by the bucketful. Have you ever listened to them come in? <laughs> Sounds exactly like a cow shitting through your letterbox. <laughs> setting sun. I'm sure it's the one setting sun. No matter where you go in the world, it's the one setting sun. I've seen it all over the place. There's a church, there's a fat flamenco dancer <laughs> with the castanets of the ready. Black hair and big tips and a huge belly and a toothless cretin with a guitar standing beside it. <laughs> there's always pictures of hotels and villas and condominiums. Pools, lush pools, swimming pools, surrounded by the lovely people, decorating them. You see, all <laughs> drinking, laughing, but all young. You've never seen an oldie there. Have you never seen an old one there? No, it's just... <laughs> you don't see any varicose veins, butt bellies, ball hats, drooping tubes around. Have you looked at that young? There's no, there's no, there's no fat on, there's not an ounce of fat, there's not a stretch mark, there's not one lump of cellulite between the lot of them. They're all sitting there, all, all happy, wonderful. The Coast Guard, you see the Coast Guard? Bronze, the Donna's figure, about to kid, give the kiss of life to a pair of smiling breasts. And there's always that miserable old lady, that black clad lady on a donkey. Octogenarian on her way to the market. What is she bloody buying? Poison for Christ's sake? <laughs> and the chef, the friendly chef, with the morning catch of salmonella and botulism. <laughs> Have you seen those bastards? They're always hairy. Have you noticed that? They always have a hat and a red handkerchief and a vest. And hair right down their arms and up on the inside of their arms. I don't know whether it's coming from the hand up or the armpit down. But he's a chef for Christ's sake. <laughs> it's an extraordinary images that they, they they keep on creating. Greek islands, there's always a happy taverna. People pouring down. Who's all? Under wraps. Two weeks we go out. Woof! We're in 
into it. The sun, not for five or ten or fifteen minutes, which is sensible, hours. We sit there in the sun, not only we sit in it, we give ourselves an oil. You can hear people sizzling. <laughs> First thing I see is a set of teeth in a glass. <laughs> and I recognize her immediately. She's the black clad octogenarian old lady on the way to the <laughs> And I'm lying there thinking, Jesus, did I do it? Christ, did I? Oh, I did, didn't I? I did. I remember doing this. And then I think at least I put a condom on. I did that. And as I got out of bed, I saw it on my toe. <laughs> put it on, all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. He, I really do enjoy him because he's, he's so relaxed about it. Uh -huh. And he's he's telling a story. He's not relying on it. I mean, he has a few sound effects here and there, but he's not relying on that. Not that the other ones do, but he's just more relaxed telling that story. And it's kind of it's kind of like what we were talking about beforehand, where I was saying like you get this idea of a vacation in your mind, and you go. And it's usually a little different. 
Um, again, our trip abroad without the kids, not too bad. I wonder why. I just love the part where he's like walking down the beach. You know, I see myself as this bronze mm -hmm. fit guy, yep. like looking pretty Absolutely. cool. And it's hilarious because you see that. And I mean, at one point in my life, I thought that, but now I'm like so panicked about the kids in the water. Like it just, I got pulled in by, um, what is it called? The um, tide, but the um, rip. Yeah. That pulls you in the undercurrent yeah. and it freaks me out so every time our kids go into the ocean it freaks me out so i'm just always like oh and i read to kind of calm myself down so i don't move i'm not that cool person it freaks you but out so much that you stay in your chair on the sand i either watch them oh, from far i'm like you got it oh especially when you're with them i'm like okay i'm good but like it well because you told me i have to let them experience and go in the water and enjoy so i sit and i <sighs> Like deep breath. You gotta tell yourself, absolutely. But I won't go in the water. But I do see these women who are like my age and older walking around in some swimsuits and bikinis that are not. I do not see those women at all. That are not the most fitting. And I'm like, what? No, you do because we talk about them. <laughs> no, we don't. I see nothing but my beautiful kids and my beautiful wife reading but I'm beautiful just saying, book. It's very, very evident that some people out there think that they have a model-esque body and they're wearing these very skimpy, skimpy swimsuits and they don't have a model-esque body. I'm just saying. Are you talking about me? No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So you see like, you get like a, you see a new shirt or a new pair of pants or whatever it is and you're like, oh, like on the commercial or on the magazine, this guy looked like this wearing this shirt. So you put it on and you're like, dang it, it's not this shirt. <laughs> or you see the pictures afterwards like, oh. Oh. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. People out there <laughs> thinking they look all cool and all awesome, and it's like, no. Big shocker. Losing more hair. Rounder than I thought I was. Burnt all over. Uh, you tan. You do not burn. I burn. Eventually, so I but at first, I burn. Like, last few times, like, and it's like splotches. I don't know how that works. I'm putting the suntan lotion all over, but he is absolutely right. We grease ourselves up. We sit out there for a few hours. But the thing he did not mention is the aftermath of like the burn and the peeling and all that. I thought he would that. say that. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm like the worst person to go to the ocean with. Nick laughs and makes fun of me because I'm the one that's out there in like my t-shirt and jeans. Like, there's no point. And then I wrap myself up with a towel. But at least you can tan because you've proven that in the past. In the past. We're going to get there. But thank you so much for watching our reaction to this one. We really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.